Okay, a couple of days ago, I started a forum thread where I uh, talked about finding code that uh, supports loading MD3 models. Uh, you might be familiar with that from, say, Quake 3. Uh, basically, what that means is you've got animation, but there's no skeleton. Uh, there's a little UV seam there in the center of the sphere. Don't worry about that. You won't have anything like that in a more practical example. Uh, speaking of which, that's something more along the lines of what I was thinking of. You can see the mesh is deforming, it's blowing around, but there's no bones acting on that. That's just purely the simulation baked into frames. Uh, I can prove that. Let's see. So, if there were bones, you would see it drawing some sort of representation of bones on all those verts, but there are no bones. Um, let me turn that off. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that uh, they went through the trouble of implementing uh, an MD3 loader into the engine, but no built-in way to play the animations. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm using a script object to uh, advance the frame. Uh, right now, the only real caveat with this is you have to know how many frames are in each one of these animations uh, and specify that in a key value pair on the uh, entity. I've called it num frames. Uh, like for instance, on this object here, there's 29 frames. On this object, there's 100 frames. It'd be kind of nice if uh, you were able to extract that information from the file without having to have the, uh, the user type that information in. Uh, another problem uh, is that, and maybe this is just where I put the models, but uh, I've got the models placed in the root of the models directory. And so when I'm looking in Dark Radiant to load the model, it doesn't list them. Uh, maybe if you put them in a subdirectory of the models uh, folder, they'd show up properly. Uh, they don't always display properly either. Uh, I've seen that I have to reload the map sometimes in order to see where the model actually is. You know, like it, it doesn't update properly. Um, but, you know, I'll package all this up and uh, upload it to my OneDrive and uh, you guys can uh, go ahead and do whatever it is you want to do with it. You know, I look forward to seeing, you know, what you guys come up with. Uh, I don't imagine it's going to be incredibly taxing to run a script object on everything you do with this, but uh, I guess we'll find out when somebody makes a map with like a thousand blades of grass or something.